welcome back to some more Dawn of Man tutorial tips and tricks. We are uh, just watching this lovely lady cook up a storm here. Yeah, so in this episode, what are we going to be focusing on? One, we're going to be focusing on this, our fortifications, making sure that they're up and running and working nicely. Um, and we're going to be focusing on our farm, uh, but the next thing that we want to be looking at, we're going to focus on uh, on animals. So I'm going to show you the basic mechanics of um, of animal farming. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set some people to chop these trees down that are growing in our fortifications. We do need a lot more wood. That is for damn sure. So the question is, where do we want that wood to come from? I'm not sure. I'm going to possibly edit this work area, see if we can gather some more tannin. So let us pop that up to, let's put three people on that. Where do we want to chop trees is the next question. And uh, I think we're going to chop these trees here. We'll place a work area down and we'll cut these trees down. Brilliant. And what will we sow? We want an infinite amount of trees chopped. We'll put three people on that. I suppose we're coming towards the end of autumn. So let me just have a peek and see what animals are around. We don't have that many bones. There's a rhino over there, guys. Let me select some hunters. So we'll go H. That'll do. And then we'll come over here. Where is he? And we'll click to hunt the rhino. Yes, we will. There's another flint deposit here, which is good to know. Oh, he's been killed. He has been killed. Perfect. Okay, so we can deselect these guys. Awesome. We've got some more meat. Look at all that thatch. That's marvellous. So I suppose we can start to upgrade some of our huts. Now what I'm going to build next are some platforms. Workload too high, shush. Yeah, workload is too high. We will leave them to just uh, chuck those platforms up in their own time. And we're going to push this on a bit. There we go. Platforms going up. Perfect. What are we missing out on here? What are we waiting on? We've got all of those. We've got everything. We can, we can build both of these up. Perfect. Okay, these platforms are going up nicely. I'm going to chuck in some more. Get as much done during the winter as we can. Our workload is going to be a bit shit uh, this year. We may not get all of our fields planted. I'm not entirely sure. New human was born. Raha! Right, I'm thinking that this area is... Oh, but there's still some stuff to chop here. Marvellous. But I think what we might do is just... No, there's plenty to chop here. That's good. And these houses have gone up. Marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous. It's all looking very good. 
so yeah what you ideally want to do is uh, is try and get as much of your work done during things like winter when the workload's lower um i want to get these up and running as quick as possible before the next raider attack we probably won't have all our platforms in but we will have a fair few okay what has the trader got he has got megalithism but we don't have enough to barter with him for that so we are going to leave it he's got 17 bones though now we can convert those quite nicely into bone harpoons so 51 let's give him those bone harpoons give him a spear give him a knife brilliant okay and then they can use those bones and craft up a load more bone harpoons perfect I am going to unlock domestication of goats and unlock sheep and pigs. Brilliant. And I suppose I'm going to go into residence because stables are residence and I kind of think I'm going to have my animals over here. So we're going to have more houses in this area. So I don't know where. Shall we? Can we put them over here? We can't. That answers that question. We're not going to have enough area to keep all our animals over here. Could, however, them right here that wouldn't be hideous so let's pop yeah let's pop these here boom disease is affecting crops emma okay we can deal with that that's fine absolutely fine sledge is no longer usable we've got 16 sleds though what we do need is to craft up some more clothing uh we're almost there we're almost there that's okay Knives, we could do with some more knives. Harpoons, flint sickles, mm, we could do with a few more of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want more bows. Right now, so we have put up our first stables. Now, if you'd only unlocked goat dom domestication, then the only things you'd be able to stable would be ibex. But that's not what we're looking for. These are mouflon here. Uh -huh. But there are no baby mouflon, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. What have we got here? These are baby ibex, and we don't want those. We did see some pigs, but where they are is is another question. Here we go. Right, boar. Boar. Young female boar. And then here we've got some mouflon. Perfect. So we will capture the mouflon and we will capture the boar. We will totally ignore the the goats. I just cannot be bothered with goats. You're going to want to to get your mouflon and like domesticate them into sheep because you're going to need the wool. The pigs are fantastic for food so that's where we're going with this. So let's tab, let it, ru let it run on and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my haystacks over here so let's build a stack put two here marvelous and i'm gonna empty that and recycle empty that and recycle empty that and recycle keep filling it up <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so let me upgrade this to a hut and upgrade that to a hut. Traders here, what has he got? We'll buy these. Mm, may as well buy the flint. And we'll give him... No, we won't, we won't buy the flint. We'll give him a knife and probably four grain. Excellent. So once you've got your animals, you're going to want to set your limits. We're going to come into here, we're going to come into limits, and we're going to say pigs. We do not want an in infinite amount of pigs. We're going to go to a max of 10 pigs right now and go to a max of 20 sheep. We'll leave it 15 maybe. We won't get that many sheep very quickly. Somebody's died of hypothermia. Some of our people have no warm clothing. Marvellous. Let's get that sorted, please. Right. Um, these, I don't think we've got any space left, have we? Ah, right. Where are these pesky raiders coming from? Over here. So we're going to come into here. And I'm going to show you how this whole alert thing works. So they're all going to come in here. going to get up on here brilliant so here come the raiders we're going to close our gates and just shoot the shit out of them and there they go down and out so you people will be back here behind the safety of your fortifications able to shoot down on the raiders before they can do too much damage so let's let's take the alert off not enough stable space for all our animals <gasps> you bastard right okay guys he's attacking my stables this is not going to work here kill him oh this is not good okay so maybe we're gonna put we're gonna put that in here then We'll recycle that and we're going to get all of our straw in here. Marvellous! Now you can also upgrade your storage to, uh, to, uh, what is it? Upgrade to storage hut. So, storage hut from storage tent. And we will do that. Still waiting on mud. God's alive. Right, traders here. What has the trader got? He's got stilting. Still don't think we can buy it though. Got some cured meat. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab some that. I'll give him that 15. Don't need a bone spear. Don't need that. Warm wood. Okay. So look, let us have a peek at our adult male sheep. How cool is that? Meh. <coughs> so cool. I might actually look at him again. He is ready, he is ready for uh, shearing. Love it. Look! Oh man, I've never seen them shearing a sheep before. Wow. Cool, cool. 
cool. That's so cool. Oh, come on, guys. Get some more mud, please. We've got three mud. You just have to carry it over. Great. And our workload has dropped back down. Marvellous. So I'm going to continue mining some stone. Get that done. Probably pop in another another stone pile here. We want storage, stone pile or rock pile. Marvellous. Remember guys, the more you can get, um, then uh, the better, really. Uh, yeah, we are probably going to have to do one more stables, guys, already. Because of what we're bringing in, in terms of animals. I'm going to just have a look. What have we got? We've got 14 animals. We've got 8 animals that need shelter. And we've got shelter space for 10. And they are going to breed. So, build residence, stables. Like that. No. Where are those little baby peas? They're set to capture. Okay. No storage slots. Ah, but they're doing this, aren't they? Of course they are. That's fine. People are dying of old age, left, right, and centre. Right, we've still got capacity for one here. We have got no capacity. Oh, we've got capacity for two here. Somebody's had an infection. Right. Well, you shouldn't go sleeping with the trader then, should you? <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. We are pushing them quite hard and we've, we want to just wait and let their population level out again. Their welfare is not going to be great, is it? No. Nope. Somebody else has died of old age. Because the pro the thing is, guys, you've got um, your stables. These guys eat straw, and you want to make sure that uh, the straw is very close to the stables. We've got no pits. I am going to craft up some more. There we go. There we go. New human born, marvellous. Right, so this is where the raiders, if they come from over here, they come through here. So what I want to do is I want to come to build defences, build a gate. Yeah, I kind of feel like we go with that angle. Now, as of the last update, you can build into the water. So if we if we bring this across here like that, and we'll do the same here, bring this into the water, we can access this area. If they come here, we will have. So should we put a watchtower and a platform and we'll do the same over here. So yeah, when, uh, when you start with your stables, you can go down the route of goats and I know a lot of people do, but I don't generally bother. I'll, I'll, if I can, I'll skip it. You're going to want sheep. You've got to have sheep because you're going to need the wool for clothing. And uh, pig domestication, they give the best, well, they give a really good yield um, at this level of the game of, of meat. We won't have to do wool and clothing until we unlock weaving, so I'm holding off on that. I will possibly hold off. It depends how many bones I get and how many harpoons we can craft. Um, as to whether I buy flats domestication or whether I uh, I spend the points on it. All right, so we've got three sheep born. 
Animal limits. Animal limits. Yeah, we know about these. Right. So let me check out first off. How many how many animals do we have in total? We have 14 sheep. That's fine. We set our limit on pigs to 10. So once we reach 10, anything more that is born, it doesn't stop animals being born, but anything more that is born will get slaughtered for meat. I'm not going to go crazy with my limits um, and bump them up any further because we do need to feed these animals through the winter. But 15 sheep at this stage of the game is really good. We're going to get loads of wool. Um, so that that feels really good to me. Right, this stage of the game, when you are using straw, um, we've got a couple of things that we can add here. So food chart. This shows how well we're doing for food. Um, and we're really, really good. And this here will show how we're doing on straw. So this is what we need. This line is what we need. And this is what we've got. So we are well above. Brilliant. Not enough stable space for our animals. Hmm. Okay. Do we craft one more stable then? We're going to have to. To work with the limits that, that I want, we're going to have to. Actually, no, we're going to craft it. Facing that way. And we're going to see what the trader's got. So he has got flax domestication. We've got 48 bone harpoons. So let's shift click. There we go. Marvellous. And we've unlocked flax domestication. Flax is used to produce linen cloth. Um, it is also used to, um, to craft specialist uh, bow and arrows, the compound bows, I think they are, which we'll see later on. Milestone unlock. Let's have a look. Neo farmer. Brilliant. So we're kind of about halfway through our milestones. Why don't we go and check out what Neo Farm was? Unlock all of the Neolithic founder crops. We've done that. Megalomania. Build a stone circle. Get 10 goats and 10 sheep. Well, we'll have to get 10 goats at some point just to uh, achieve that milestone. Okay, so these guys are all in here. This has gone up. We need to set to high priority. Marvellous. Some will come in and supply this. Perfect. So I suppose what we next need to do is plant up some flats. Like so. Marvellous. And we'll set that to high priority. Make sure that that's high priority, that's high priority, and that is. And I will probably also, not probably, I definitely will, plant up, and we'll go with some barley. Raider attack, where are these bad boys coming from here right so we'll go we're gonna get this closed because this is where they're coming so people can run in from the back if they need to we've only got three raiders this is going to be Easy as peasy. But it won't always be this easy, guys. It does get does get harder. Marvellous. That's it. We've done it. Ah! And that will uh that will make our people very, very happy. 
which is very very nice we're gonna open this up and uh, I'm going to put my straw chart up here I think just so I can keep an eye on it our straw is going down but we are almost out of winter so we don't really have to worry about that now I do believe that uh, shortly after it's it's set up that shortly after the raiders come and you fend off the raiders a trader will arrive to see if you've got anything that you've got from the traders that you want to um that you want to sell right i'm going to send somebody over to kill this pig because we've not got a lot of uh, cured meat we're seeing over here what's these more pigs I haven't seen a raucous in a while. Raucous and bison, I would really like a nice herd of those so that we could just kill them and eat like kings. The bear there. Maybe we eat these guys. <laughs> I mean, we've got plenty of food. Don't get me wrong, we've got plenty of food. If I have a look at my food chart, we're fine because we've got bread and we've got vegetables and loads of fish. But I really, really quite like to see this looking a little bit better. But it's not hideous because um, our limits we set 14 sheep and... Was it 14 sheep and 10 pigs? And we have... No, 15 sheep and 10 pigs. We now have 15 sheep and 8 pigs. But the pigs are going to breed again. In fact, I'm going to send somebody over here. I'm going to capture what we can. May as well. May as well. And once, like, once the winter's over, they can come outside and they can eat from outside. So... Uh, they can munch on the grass and uh, and so that's all good. We definitely need more straw. Definitely. You know what we also need? More people now. We absolutely need more people. We're going to get all of these upgraded now. Five of my dogs have contracted a disease. What you'll find, guys, whenever you build something new or you, whatever, um, dog has been struck by lightning. Yeah, whenever you try and progress, something bad happens. You know, you plant more crops, your crops will get blighted. Um, it's, it's always, always going to happen. Ah, and here comes the trader, hot on the heels of the raiders. Um, what's he got? Now he's got weaving. We're not really going to be able to do much about that. Um, I'm just going to buy these. I am going to buy the cured meat. Might buy the leather as well. No, I've got eight leather. No, what am I thinking? Right, now also... Like, if you're really low on straw and you've got a crop of grain, remember, I said, don't convert all of your grain into flour or bread because they go off quicker than the grain does. The grain doesn't have a shelf life. It will just stay there. Now, if you use all of your thatching, uh, or all of your straw, then they will automatically go and start feeding your animals grain. So as long as you've got a stockpile of grain, you're okay. These are all being upgraded, which is wonderful. Um, once they're upgraded, we will see just what our population capacity is at. Thirty-six, marvelous. We need more sledges, so we'll get those crafted up. We're going to transport. And we'll go. If you hold down your shift key, uh, you can craft multiple. So we go one. Two, three, four, five. Look at how quickly they degraded. We had 15. 
and now we've got like seven. It's got weaving again. What do we give him? One vegetable. Okay. Right, so we bought weaving. Nice. So the next thing we want to do, as soon as we've got this harvest in, uh, actually, our workload's dropping. So let's come into production. And we're going to go and we're going to craft up a weaver and an outfitters. So I'll have these here, I think. There we go. Now, let me have a look. We've got 13, oh, 13 sheep and 8 pigs. That's a pain in the backside. I want more sheep so that I can... Uh, what are these? Move from? My backs. Bastards. Oh, oh, move on. Capture. An adult. And it worked. Did we not capture those pigs? Where were the pigs anyway? Ah, there we go. Capture the babies. So if I then come in here, we've got 14 pigs. Our limit was set to 10. So four of those are going to be killed. Pretty sure we set our limit to 10. Let me have a look. Manage limits. Pigs, 10. Yeah, so we've got limit set to 15 on sheep and the pigs, 10. Perfect. And our straw is looking great. Marvellous. Got even more straw here. Let's push this on. Let them get the last of the straw in. I'm going to kick out a young male, young, young. Ah, there we go. They're killing the pigs. See? Brilliant. I want this tree out of the way. That's a pear tree. Birch. We'll get rid of that. And now we are we are taking care of business. We are producing our own food, producing our own clothing. We've got our sledges back up and crafting. Uh, we have no flint. Surprisingly, we have no flint. So let's get that. Send somebody over here to get that flint. We've already got three stables up just in this uh, hour and 16 minutes. We've got a little bit of defence should our raiders come over from this direction. We can, um, we can do something about it. We'll see how this works, I suppose we say. Um, we shut them out there and, and shoot at them. Probably want to consider making this a little bit longer over here and a little bit longer over there, but eh, we'll see how it goes. Trader's arrived. We'll just see what he's got. Um, nothing that we need. Uh, I, I'm going to grab the straw just in case. Um, but no, I mean, the thaw's come. Look at it. And... Uh, and we've still got 24 straw, which is very nice. 86 grain now. Perfect. Marvellous. This is all going really well. They are needing to uh, focus on planting up these fields. So we will let them do that. And this is where we're going to really call it, guys. Um, you, yeah, we've got a ship workload. We need more people. That will come. That will come. We are at 30 now. We're slowly creeping up. We've got the animals nailed. That's sorted. That's great. I would love to increase uh, my pigs a little bit more, but I'm not going to. We haven't got the resources in terms of straw yet. Um, what else? Yes, don't forget, when you are going into this, you can get goat domestication, but I skip straight to sheep and pigs. Pigs gives you great meat. 
cheap you need the wool for your clothing and uh, when when you do like craft these up don't forget to set these to high priority even though we've got a river I do like to craft a well next to them and uh, pop at least one haystack next to them I'm going to try and keep all of my haystacks in here so that I know I've got plenty of resources ready for the winter for them. In the next episode, we'll really look at uh, and get at um, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it going into the next era. We've got megalithism. We could purchase that. In fact, yeah, we'll definitely purchase that in the next era, and we will um, we will go in and we will craft up that stone circle for that milestone. And increase our population a little bit. But uh, yeah, for now, this is where we're going to call it. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. And if you have, please do remember to click that like button. Pop a comment in the comment section. Any hints, tips, comments or criticisms are always gratefully received. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel um, for more like this. And uh, until next time, guys, you stay safe and take care.